this is a, another photograph of Sutton Park so got uh, some real distant trees there and then the tree line gets nearer and nearer so along this left hand side a few figures there to um, we can play with sort of emphasise this path a bit more um, it was quite a dull day so there's no shadow so I think we'll have to invent some shadows just to try and make it look, look a bit more um, interesting so let's have a bash at this one so using the big eye brush a little bit of um, raw sienna and I'm just going to I'm going to whip the pipe back all the way down to the bottom. Not too much, but just enough so it doesn't crinkle as I apply the, uh, the paint later on. Just going to dip the airs, just the very tips, into the water just to bring the airs back together. And then I'm going to go just a bit of ultramarine and just bash it a little bit. Not too much, you're going to fill about too much with it. And maybe a bit of Lizard Crimson, Raw Sienna. Just a little bit of clay, that's it. Not too much. So the distant tree, so same colour as the sky. So I'm going to go Raw Sienna, Ultramarine. And then these are, these are right up there, somewhere. And that's the most distant bit. A bit of lemon yellow as it comes forward slightly. And what I'm going to do... No, I'm not. I was going to dry it, but I'm not going to dry it. No, it hasn't had time to stretch it anyway. I'm just keeping an eye on this sky here, when it goes down too much, in fact, it's just sinking a little bit, so that's the beauty of having the air dried, if your paint's just starting to drift down, I mean obviously you can have yours, you don't have to have a, the angle like this right up right, I only have it like this so I can record it easily. Your, your angle will be more sort of like that, just slightly you know. So it won't be dripping down as much. But that's where the air dryer comes in handy because when it is dripping down, I can stop it. So, raw sienna, lemon yellow, a bit of ultramarine. And then we've got some trees up there like that. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to be careful not to keep going over the same bit of paper. So, if you, you always try and do it so you can see your brush strokes. Don't keep going over the same bit either there because you're just making a splodge. And that's coming up there like that. Bit of paint, so I see how it darkens it. Back to the lemon yellow, it's going right up there like that. Just a few little, a few little trunks there, using the fingernail. You can you can just paint them in with your eye brush if you want. That's all I'm going to do for that. I better stretch a little bit. So I'm just going to pull it dry. But I didn't wet it too much, so it wouldn't stretch that much. But just. Now here, in front of that, we've got, um, now in the photograph, they're quite similar tones, but um, let's, let's, just, let's try it lighter just to change it a bit, change it a bit, so I'll get a little bit lighter now, down there, maybe a bit of brown, back to the lemon yellow, 
Sorry. Bit of rust, yeah. So I'm wondering if you can make out, you've sort of got, there's the background now coming closer and closer. And then we've got, there's a little gap here where the path starts, runs through, so. so I'm just going to stop there and then leave that. In the front of there, there's like a, some darker bits down there. Clean the brush. And then some over on the other side. So first bit of raw sienna, lemon yellow. These are giving off. Let's yes, just work this out now. Bit of ultramarine again, just change the colour slightly. And again, a little bit sort of darker now. We'll see in there. Lemon yellow. A bit more lemon yellow. A bit of paint spray, just darken it down there. Right, that'll do for that. Now, along here, Sort of another layer and again it goes lighter again so I've cleaned the brush and I'm going into just lemon yellow bit of raw sienna bit of ultramarine raw, raw sienna lemon yellow and a little bit on this side as well And what I might do is put this path in next. So um, for that I'm just going to go light red. Just go light red and ultramarine. And it just sort of sweeps around like that, something like that. Back to our green, so it's back into this lemon yellow, a bit of a bit of ultramarine. And I'm just going to push this up, just push it up to the path, and then there's a bit of grass in, in the middle as well. Raw sienna. Lemon yellow. Back over onto this right hand side, and again just pushing it up to the path. There, this grass. And down. a bit of ultramarine now just to change, change it again. A bit of raw sienna, a bit of Payne's grey. Really darkens it. And to get back to the light, you have to clean the brush. Take the excess up on the tea towel and you can get back into your light colours. Lemon yellow, a bit of ultramarine. And what I might do is just need some of all these, a lot of white gaps all over the place. Just really, just no raw sienna, just put in these gaps. Not all of them, but
You can also do this, you would also it helps sort of blend all the colours together a little bit. Nothing worse than just like uniform colours with no variation. Um, now in this corner here we've got a it's like a bush so what I might do is if we just pitch the rigger and then I'm gonna need a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of Payne's grey. Burnt umber in there, back to the lemon yellow, ultramarine, maybe a bit of light red. Lemon yellow, paint grey, more paint grey, just to darken that a little bit. Right, so that's. I'm just going to pull that tight, just make sure it's flat. And then, I'll just give it a quick, quick dry. Quite a dull day, so there were no no real shadows. So let's just let's just invent some. So I'm gonna just a clean damp brush, not too wet. Just something like that. I'm just going I'm just going red and uh, blue, just to make a sort of shadowy colour. And then just work out where the shadows are going to go. So we've got, some, uh, imagine there's something big over there and it's coming across, creating a shadow like that. And a few more shadows in there. And I'll just stop there before I overdo it. And then, um, we've got our figures, uh, what have we got? Let's go, the one's got a, like a blue, blue coat on. Some, some grey trousers, so I'm just going to go brown and blue. Give it a twist, bring the ears together to a fine point. Now in the photograph he's sort of looking that way to the right, but I'm doing him just, just walking off. Walking off forwards. Then the other one, I'm just gonna give him a red. In fact I'm gonna make it a woman. Just give it a red, a red top. Close together. And then let's go um Bit of raw sienna. 
Yeah, not much. Um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to go back into the blue. I'm not getting much contrast there. Just pop down the legs. And then what we need again, I'll just just need the, that shadow colour again. Testing it, I think that's. And then the shadows are going this way like that. So they're going to be the same direction. So that's one shadow for that one, and another shadow for them. I think I'm going to call that one finished. Slide in the corner. Slide in this big bush area there now. See what it looks like with the mounts on. This is the picture with the mounts on. So if we take a quick look back at the photograph. So starting with the sky, just try to liven the sky up a little bit with a few clouds, a bit of an ultramarine raw sienna. Didn't really happen in the sky in the photograph, so I felt I had to liven it up a bit. You can see in the photograph there's sort of two predominant sort of layers. You've got a sort of darker layer there and then a lighter one underneath. Which I've completely failed to uh, implement really. I've made them all pretty much the same. The only darker area there I got was along this this sort of part here. There's this here. I should have, I wanted to make this whole thing a lot darker. But I've still got a bit of variation there in the trees. A few trees in the background, so we've got them into the lighter area, just below the blue, with the cloud sky, so they get the profile nice and sharp. And you can see the uh, distant trees pushed right back. The path leading up to the figures there, wound it round a little bit, and then just just stuck a couple of figures, just sort of a young couple, just walking off towards the trees. There's no real sun. It's quite a dull day, so there's no shadows anywhere. So I've had to just invent some, just just a few shadows coming from some some objects over on the left out, side out of shot, just casting a shadow across the path there, and then some shadows from our uh, couple there walking off. Got a little hedge hedge thing there going on amongst this uh, lighter coloured grass. To be honest, I, I think I made a complete mess of it. Just a, a mishmash of, of darks down there, not, not, nothing really happening to be honest. So just have a try this one yourself and see how you get on. I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.